In the previous video, we sketched a rectangle and dimensioned it and we create a fully defined sketch using the rectangle command. In this video, we will modify this sketch using the more commands over here in our sketch panel. So to edit a sketch, we'll select another command known as fillet, sketch fillet. So to fillet things, we need to uh, select two points or an edge. Since we will be uh, adding fillet to each and every of the corner, we can simply select the corner or we can select two lines to apply the fillet. So in order to apply the fillet to every uh, corner, we'll select the two corners of every line. Fillet is used to avoid any sharp edges that could uh, potentially be harmful to other people since we don't have much design tolerances. So we will uh, reduce this uh, fillet to a 5 mm fillet which you can see since we have a 150 so we have reduced the fillet to uh, 5 mm fillet so this is how we apply fillet you can see the constraints that had been have been applied so when you manually create a fillet you will uh, you will create an arc between the edges so it shows a tangent connection of the fillet if you, uh, you have ever used at auto desk auto autocad so to fillet things we have to usually uh, make two tangent make a circle between two tangent points to create a fillet also in manual drawing so this is how it works now we want three circles to be over here here and here and one at the center so to create circles we will go to the circle tab create a circle and I will select some position over here to create a circle and now over here to create a circle and like this I have created four circles now to apply a constraint press control select all the entities with which we have to create uh, constraint you can also press shift and select which is much easier than selecting vi control now uh, since we have selected these things there will be some uh, relations which can be defined but since there are none i'll just select all of the circles and see we can see that we can make them equal there is also a concentric which makes them uh, all centered around a point so here i am going to select equal which makes them of equal size then okay now from the smart dimension the distance from the center to this point i'll say it is 20 mm and from upwards from the center to the top it is around 10 mm and lastly apply radius let's say the radius is of 10 mm so we have created a rectangle filleted the edges and placed four circles around the plate so in the next video we will further use this to make much more geometries